Hi students. So we were studying about animal tissues. And we have already studied epithelial tissue, connective tissue and muscular tissue. So today we can study about nervous tissue. So next tissue is nervous tissue and our brain, spinal cord and nerves that together form our nervous system. And the nervous tissue, uh, the cells in this nervous tissue are called nerves or neurons. So the cells are called nerves or neurons. Okay. Neurons. And now we can uh, look at the structure of a neuron. So when we study about cell, we study that uh, neuron uh, is the longest cell in our body or nerve cells are the longest cells in our body. So now we can look at the structure of a neuron. And here uh, for the, there is one cell body like all other cells, there is one cell. And in the center there is a nucleus. And nucleus is surrounded by cytoplasm. But uh, here we can see some branches are arising from the cell. Usually in other cells we don't see branches like this. But a neuron has some branches. And these small branches are called dendrites. And one branch is a long branch. And this long branch is called axon. And this axon is covered and or insulated by a sheath. And that sheath is called myelin sheath. Okay, this is one neuron from here to here. And at the tip of this axon you can see again some small branches. And the tip of this small branch is called nerve entity. Okay, so this is the structure of a neuron. So it have a cell body with nucleus and cytoplasm and small branches called dendrites and a long branch called axon. It is covered by myelin sheath and the tip, it is again small branches are there and the tip of the small branches are called nerve entity. Okay, so this is the structure of a neuron. And what is the function of neuron? Ah, you have studied function of neuron is that it carries messages. So it carries messages from our brain or spinal cord to our muscles or from our sense organs back to our brain or uh, spinal cord. Okay. So for example, if we touch a hot object, what we do? Suddenly we will take back our hand. And that's a sudden action. Without thinking, we will take back the hand very fast. And such fast, sudden, automatic responses. That messages are usually coming from our spinal cord. And that sudden, automatic responses are called reflex action. So, in detail, you will study in next year. Okay. So, uh, fast messages that are for reflex actions, the messages are usually coming from our spinal cord. And most of the messages are coming from our brain also. Okay. So when you look at a bright light, what happens? You will close your eyes. That message, uh, when you look at a bright substance, uh, light, the message uh, or that stimulus, what is the stimulus? Stimulus is light. Stimulus is coming to our eyes and eyes, uh, eyes is one sense organ. So the uh, message from the eyes is carried through neurons to our brain and brain will give back the message to the muscles in our eyes and then uh, when our muscles get that message we will close our eyes or, or if you touch a hot object the sense organ is our skin so the skin will uh, the stimulus is what stimulus is heat and the skin will convert that stimulus into and uh, some signals are passing and that signals are uh, called as impulses. And the skin will carry that impulses from our hand through some neurons. 
and that neurons are called sensory neurons and sensory neurons will carry it to into our spinal cord spinal cord will give back the message what is the message take back your hand and that message is also going through some neurons called motor neurons and that message will come to the muscles in our hand and when the muscles get that message we will take back our hand okay so that means uh, you just want to study what what is the function of neurons what is its function they are carrying the messages or some signals in the form of impulses so they are carrying the impulses from different parts of our body to our brain or spinal cord that is the function of our new cells or neurons okay so uh, the signal that passes along the nerve fiber that is called nerve impulse and this nerve impulse allow us to move our muscles when we want to okay so uh, messages are going uh, carry to the muscles in our body and the muscles help our body to move that part okay or when we uh, some messages are going to the glands various glands in our body for example if you see uh, your favorite food item saliva will uh, uh, what happen saliva will be secreted in our mouth so that message when you see the uh, eyes will get that message uh, from the eyes the signal is carried to the brain brain will carry that message to the salivary glands and salivary glands will produce saliva so those messages are ca carried to our brain or spinal cord and from brain or spinal cord the reply will come back to our muscles or our glands and our muscles or glands will act according to that okay so how we respond to a stimulus ah various stimulus uh, stimuli are there around us and our nervous tissue is helping us to react or respond to the various stimuli around us when we see a bright light we will close our eyes when we touch a hot object we will take back our hand or when we uh, keep our leg above a pointed object and all we will take back our leg so many things so this messages are carried or signals are carried by our nerve cells and which uh, tissue is helping us in the movement muscles so muscular tissue is helping in our movement so the combination of nervous tissue and muscular tissue enables animals to move according or to move very fast in response to stimuli so which all muscles are helping us to move according to or respond according to stimuli ah combination of our nervous tissue and muscular tissue they uh, both are uh, working together and that uh, will help us to react according or to move according to the uh, stimulus okay and this nervous tissue is the longest uh, neuron is the longest cell in our body and it is about 1 uh, meter 1 uh, meter long that means very long so it is very long in our body so that structure help it to carry the messages very fast throughout our body if it is very small or in some other shape what happens it is difficult to carry the messages but it is very long so it can carry the messages very fast so its structure is helping it to perform its function now we can look how the messages are carried through the nerve cell so from any sense organ eyes or skin or any sense organ the uh, message or the impulse or the signal enter into the dendrite so where the signal reaches signal reaches the dendrite and from this dendrite the signal is carried to the cell body it will reach the cell body from the cell body it will signal will move through this axon and it reaches at this nerve ending okay and we can see next neuron will be nearer to it so here there will be the branches of uh, next neuron okay so it is not touching this neuron there is a small gap in between this uh, nerve ending and the tip of the dendrite of next neuron this is next neuron small gap 
and that small gap is called synapse. So you will study in detail next year. Okay. And uh, this message, now where the message, the signal reaches at the tip, it reaches at the nerve NT. And there is one gap. When it re signal reaches or impulse reaches the gap, impulse changes into a chemical and it will pass this gap. And reaches the tip of the dendrite of next neuron. Then through this it will go to the cell body, from the cell body through the axon. Through the, to the next neuron. Like that it will be carried from one neuron to the next neuron. Next neuron like that it will reach our brain or spinal cord. Okay. So one meter length. So very low. So it can carry the messages very fast. Okay. So what all things you want to study? Ah, nervous tissue, brain, spinal cord and nerves together form our nervous system. And the cells in the nervous tissue are called neurons or nerve cells. And for the structure, we have a cell body, small branches called dendrites and long branch called axon. And the tip of axon uh, branches, axon also there are small, small branches and its tip is called nerve ending. And its function is to carry messages from uh, various sense organs to the brain or spinal cord and carry back the uh, message to the muscles or glands in our body. Okay. And the signal that passes along the nerve fiber, that signal is called nerve impulse. And the nerve impulse allow us to move our muscles when we want to move. And the combination of nervous tissue and muscular tissue enables animals to move very fast in response to stimuli. Only that much you want to study the synapse, sensory neuron, motor neuron, that all you just understand only. Okay, clear now? So our uh, sixth lesson, tissue, that lesson is over. So read that textbook carefully and study very well and study to draw the picture of nerve cell also. Okay, clear now? Bye.